even though I wasn't taught any of what I'm going to talk about when I was younger, I had to learn these 10 secrets on my own through experience and yes, making mistakes. So let's look at my list of 10 successful secrets or things that you can do. Number one, financial literacy. You need to understand budgeting, investing, and debt management. These are things that you need to teach your children, but also hopefully were taught to you. Two, diversified investments. The old saying, don't put all your eggs in one basket, is a very stable way to handle your finances. You know, don't invest everything in one stock or, or one class of uh, asset, like say real estate. Three, adaptability. Stay updated on financial trends and be ready to adjust strategies. You know, keep yourself, uh, you know, up to date on what's happening in the world. Number four, tech savviness. Using technology for online banking and budgeting apps and investing platforms can really save you a lot of money and increase the amount of money that you can earn on the hard earned save money in your investments. Number five, sustainable practices. You know, when you do invest, invest in companies that have ethical practices and consider sustainable investments. You know, don't go investing in that sure scheme that pops up in your Facebook feed. Number six, continuous learning. Stay informed about new financial tools, regulations, and opportunities. Never ever stop learning, never ever stop trying to improve your financial knowledge. And number seven, networking. You know, building relationships with other folks when it comes to finances and getting other opinions and collaborations can uh, surely bring, you know, better opportunities for your financial future. Number eight, emergency fund. Maintain a safety net for unexpected expenses. You know, they say that a lot of folks don't have more than a couple hundred dollars, um, you know, put aside for financial emergencies. It's not a good way to live your life to be on uh, the edge. Um, you need to, to plan ahead and have money for these expenses. Number six, long-term planning. You know, this is probably one of the biggest things that folks have to do. You know, planning for uh, future goals, planning for retirement, and major life events. I mean, you think about what happened in the pandemic. In a lot of ways, we were very lucky that the government was there to dole out money to a lot of folks that hadn't planned for the future and had no savings. Because if, if it wasn't for the government um, putting out that money, it could have been a lot worse. And number 10, self-control. Practice delayed gratification and avoid impulse buying. You know, just because, uh, you know, the neighbor buys a new car or puts in that pool and puts the money on their line of credit doesn't mean it's a good idea or something that you should do. So practice uh, some restraint and stick to your financial goals and, uh, and budgets. Anyhow, thank you for, uh, for watching. I hope this helps anybody in their financial endeavors. And uh, it's not financial advice. It's just uh, some things that I've learned throughout my life um, of experiences and, and yes, mistakes. So um, please subscribe to my channel. I'd appreciate it. Hit that like button. It is free. And uh, I look forward to bringing you more videos in the future. Thank you. Have a great day.